So good morning to one another and welcome to VLSA class of unit number four. So in the previous class, we discussed about uh, uh, some circuitry that is the human body model and the machine model and the charge storage model. So, okay. Uh, <clears throat> these are the models to predict the uh, IC circuits from the electrostatic discharge. So another, let us consider the protection network. So these are the electrostatic, uh, to test the, in the previous class, we discussed about uh, how to test the electrostatic discharge of the different models, okay? Now in this circuit, we are going to consider a protection network, okay, uh, protection network for those, uh, when the EAG network and uh, signal cell arrives, how to protect the, our, our, our circuits. Okay, let's consider the basically uh, the protection circuit consists in, uh, is existing the input uh, input output circuit uh, level with the pads. So they'll be located. Uh, they consist basically it consists of four diffuse resistor diode structures as shown in the figure. Okay, it consists um, so here this is the diffuse circuit uh, resistor circuit. Okay, so here. Okay, the, so here the input resistance is from one to two, three kilo ohm. So, and this input voltage is in conjunction with the capacitance of different uh, capacitance uh, in the diffusions and diodes and the gauge structure in the input transistor that integrates and clamp the voltage level. We clamp the voltage level to certain safe level. Okay. So whatever the resistance we are using in this case, the resistance not only with the, not only resistor, so we are going to use some uh, capacitance that are exist in the diffusion and diodes and gate capacitance. Commonly, um, this all combined with all these components clamps the clamp the input level to a shape level. Okay. So therefore, the, in that case, the RC time constants should be small, uh, not to increase, uh, very small. Otherwise, what happens is the delay, delay will be increased. So that will be very small, okay, in this case. So depending upon, keep in mind, in this one, we are going to design this uh, production network, okay. Similarly, uh, here, the diode clamp signal, signal level may be very from um, 0.7 volts to VDD plus 0.7 volts. For example, as a the circuit diagram of production, simple circuit diagram of production network, when the signal arrives here, and depending upon the voltage level of the signal at this point, so what happened, the negative voltage is entered, so when this transistor bit turns on, and the voltage is now equal to the cutting voltage of this transistor is 0.7 volts, and when the signal vary from, changing from zero to, uh, Signal changes, so what happens is the maximum voltage, the minimum voltage will be 0 0.7 volts when this diode turns on, and the maximum voltage is when this diode turns on. Okay, so therefore the maximum voltage in this case is equal to the plus VDD plus VDD plus uh, cutting voltage of this transistor is 0.7. So that means uh, the signal will be clamped to that level. When the signal low level will appear here, low level is appear at this point, depending upon the this diode will be turned on and these two diodes will be off condition. So therefore, the, we are getting the voltage is 0 0.7 volts. Okay. And when the voltage is rises to some uh, level, so what happens is when that this turns, the diode will be turned on, this diode will be turned off, the upper voltage is suddenly shifted to the voltage VDD plus 0 0.7 of this transistor. So, so uh, there is a signal will be clamps. Okay, the signal will be clamped to 0 0.7 to 0. Point, that means the voltage at this point is greater than 0 0.7 volts, minus 0 0.7 volts, and less than 0. Point, uh, VDD plus 0 0.7 volts. So, like this, the signal will be clamped in this case. So, similarly, another network we are going to, particularly here, um, we have to consider the to reduce the permanent damage to the diode structure the current to the diode should be limited, okay? So this is a limited value must be uh, several tens of millivolts. Similarly, 
And in the previous case, we are going to use the resistor here, the resistors B, uh, polysilicon series resistors we are using. So that can be a phase because of uh, electrostatic, uh, which, uh, electrostatic high electric field. Okay, that's why I are going to use the diffuse resistors. Okay, so that is the main thing. So another very important uh, thing in this case, um, uh, structure for the improved version. Okay, the use of uh, thick oxide and mass transistors, which is shown in the video figure here. Okay, this is the another one is, and this circuit will be suitable for both uh, human um, uh, HBM and also MM. Okay, so this is. Uh, Goes good for both uh, HBM, that is a uh, human body model, and also the machine model. Okay, here we are using uh, thick oxide uh, transistors method. Okay, the, here we are having uh, thick oxide in most transistors. By using the thick oxide in most transistors, we are going to use uh, this production network. Okay, uses the production network here. So that means we are going to use the extra transistor M1, M2, and M3 in this case. So here M, M1 is uh, basically it is a uh, thick oxide uh, pulse rod transistor, and M2 is a thin oxide in MOS transistor, and also M3 is also a uh, thin oxide uh, in MOS transistors. And all these transistors will operate in the saturation region of the transistors. So here, um, the operating uh, all these will be operating in the saturation mode. Okay, all the transistors will be operating in the transistor mode. And whenever um, for the positive transition, the threshold voltage of M1 and M2 should be vary from 20 volts to 30 volts. Okay, the threshold voltage of these transistors will be 20 volts to 30 volts. Okay. So that is about the production networks we are using in the circuit, <clears throat> right? Next one, we have to concentrate now. Okay, now the input circuit will be here. Let us consider go for the next input circuit. So this is the simple circuit. The input transistor will get attached. The input, uh, this is the simple uh, input circuit, which consists of uh, transmission gate. Uh, with the activated enable signal, okay. The circuit consists of uh, transmission gate with the enable transmission gate, okay. We can enable the this is the transmission gate, and this is the production network. This is the pad, okay. Input pad. So the signal is entered into the pad and passes through the production network, okay. So this is the functionality, what type of production network we are going to use, I have seen the previous topic. Okay, that, it's a, that type of production network. And this is the simple one, or maybe diffuse resistor, diffuse diode model, or maybe a um, thick oxide, uh, use of thick oxide uh, transistors, NMOS transistors, okay. So now this is the signal to be entered into the pad, it passes through the production network. If, and when the output of the production network is given to the input cycle, and there is no uh, electrostatic discharges in the cycle, the <coughs> signal will be transmitted. Otherwise, uh, the production network will stop the cycle before entering the cycle into the cycle. Okay. So therefore, the production network is required here, and the signal is suffi sufficient at this point. So there will be transferred to the uh, uh, transmitted gate. So depending upon the condition of uh, enable signal, okay, the, the total block diagram is given here. Okay, the total block diagram input circuit is given. It consists this is the input pad, and this is the transmission gate sector which enables this is the enable signal, and this is the output of the transmission gate. So structure will be like this. Okay, the structure is is given here. Okay, the transmission gate structure will be like this here. Phase two in mass transistor can be parallel one and the inputs be given here in this case. So here, uh, just observe here, this is the uh, low level enabled circuit. Whenever we can apply a low level here, the circuit will be enabled. Okay. So now just observe here when the low level is applied. So this transistor will be triggers. Okay. 
So it's on condition, a signal will be transferred to the X. Okay, whatever the signal is there, it will be transferred to the X. When the high voltage is applied, <coughs> so the transmission gate will be stopped with working. So no signal will be transferred from this point to the X. Put back to the circuit. So therefore, now just observe here, this is a transmission circuit, gate structure, and here we are going to apply this, we have to, we have to consider A and here is A bar. Basically, we consider A, okay, maybe. So instead of getting A, no, not A here, it is enabled, okay? So this is E, we are going to give E here and E bar. When E is zero, so what happens, that means E is zero, so what happened now here? When E is zero, so here we are, this is the uh, CMOS inverter circuit, and this is another CMOS inverter. We are having two CMOS circuits connected in parallel. Okay, the output of this inverter circuit drives the input of the under CMOS inverter, and the output of this inverter is given to the um, this point, enable points, and the output of first inverter will be given to the input of the gate, uh, this N channel gate, this is the N channel gate, and this point will be given to the P channel gate of the transmission, transmission gate. So when the input is low, low level, when the input is low state, so what happens, you are getting the output is high here. This high voltage is given to the transmission gate. So you are the transmission gate. So this transmission gate will be, this transistor will be on, okay? Similarly, because the high voltage is appear here, so this is given to the task here, this transistor, and this task will be turns on. Okay, this task will be turns off, and this will be turns on. So the output will go to zero level. So therefore, this the output at this point will be zero here. So this zero enables this task, this pre charm transistor in the transmission gate. So this is also in on condition. This both the transistors will be on condition. So what happens there again? Low resistance path is exist between these two points here. Okay, so therefore, this A signal is trans transmitted to the X value. Okay, so A signal will be transmitted to the X value when the enable is zero. Remember that point. So signal will be transmitted. Similarly, when the high signal is appear, so what happens? This point becomes low and this this point becomes high. So this high low signal for the gate of the in channel MOSFET. This transistor will turns off, and for high signal, this transistor also turns off. So there is high, uh, there is a high impedance state will be exist. So no signal will be transferred from G A to X. Okay, that X will be entered into a high impedance state. So this is the simple operation of the input circuit. Okay, so it is given when X is equal to A. Okay, when X is equal to A, when E is equal to zero. Otherwise, E is equal to one, for example the x value, output value is equal to high impedance state, okay? So that is the main important thing in this case. And similarly, if any unused input terminal should be, is there in the circuit, it must be tried. It should be tied to VDD or VSS, okay? If any chip input, unused chip inputs are present in the circuit, so that uh, unused input terminals must, it should be, uh, tied to VDD and VSS, okay, using uh, pull up or pull down transistors, okay, using pull up and pull down transistors externally. So, some input pad modules have some, basically what happened is uh, some input pad modules that they have built in internal pull up and pull down transistors uh, as a active load, pull down transistor, pull down tra transistor as a resistor, okay. Because the transistor should be on current, which is having the resistance is approximately 2000 kilo ohm. Okay, there, there is the uh, pull down. Pull down. Means this is a particular case. So, whenever we are not having any, uh, whenever we are not going to use some input terminals, so that is called, we can call it the unused chip input terminals, and these are connected to the VD and VSS using pull down and um, pull up and pull down resistors. Okay, pull up and pull down resistors found formed by using a transistors. So, so uh, some input pad is, uh, modules have, basically they are having built-in internal pull-up and pull-down resistor which is having the resistance to 200 kilo ohm to 1 mega ohm, okay? Similarly, we are another uh, 
uh, inverting network. So we are con considering this case. This is, this is also we considered as the instead of using um, transmission gate, we are going to use this type of circuit also. Okay. So now here uh, we are having the production network. The input, uh, the input pad is connected to the CMOS inverter circuit three uh, production network. Okay, the, here the typical value of the input low is 0 0.3 volts times the value of VDD and uh, maximum value is 0 0.7 volts the value of VDD. Okay, that is a low state will be VIH, that is VIL we are going to represent VIL, V suffix IL is 0 0.3 times the value of VDD and VHL is, uh, VIH is approximately 0 0.7 times the value of VDD. Okay, for example, if we consider VDD is equal to 5 volts, okay, if we consider 5 volts, so 1.5 volts is input, 3.5 volts is the output, high state, respectively. So with the high 30% uh, of for nice modeling. Okay. So the and then uh, sometimes uh, whenever we are using the circuit, the TTL signals uh, received at the input, the TTL signals having the different uh, logic levels. Compared to the CMOS logic level. So, in this condition, we required uh, to change the signal from uh, one uh, TT level to CMOS level. That is, level shifting is required. Okay. So, that level shifting will be to add to transfer in this case also. Okay. So, in that case, um, so we required, so basically, we require the TT signals. Which will drive the CMOS logic. That means here we require the adjusting uh, the ratio channel width, uh, channel width of the CMOS and MOS transistor so that we can get uh, level shifting, level shifting from TT circuit to CMOS logic. So in this case, the output signal levels are will be 0 0.8 volts low level and 2 volts for the high level. Okay. And the input voltage level are less than 0. Uh, are equal to less than or equals to 0 0.8 volts. So uh, can be considered as a low level and input voltage which is having greater than or equals to 2 volts can be considered as the high volt, high level. Okay. So when, and after the when the signal the incoming signal is uh, passes through so after the input production cycle the signal will be level shifted to a desirable level and then it will be given to the uh, input cycle. So that is the main important thing under the So basically we are using the TTL drivers, uh, uh, level shifting between the TTL drivers and CMOS gate circuit can be achieved properly by designing the ratios between the PMOS and the NMOS transistors. Okay, this means the level shifting will be properly you can get by using proper design of PMOS and MOS transistors that there is of the receiving uh, at the receiving side of the CMOS inverter gate. So that is the case, we have to remember. Okay. So from this, if we go directly to the next one, next another method, we are going to use uh, uh, non-inverting type of level shifting circuits. Okay. So in this circuit, the level shifting uh, level shifting is accomplished in the first stage, and then it is followed to the uh, second level. Okay, so now just observe. Uh, this is the other uh, level shifting circuit we are going to use in this case. Okay, so that means the signal is passed after the production network is transferred to this uh, uh, transmission. Uh, this, uh, this level shifting network for the TTL. We are assuming the TTL network in this case. So the TTL level will be shifted to this point here. So this is the symbolic networks of this. Uh, uh, level C, TTL level CT network. Okay. But depending upon the input level, the output will be shifted. Okay. So there is this type of circuit we are going to use in the input circuit. And similarly, we are going to use uh, uh, this is called the non inverting stage. Okay. This is non inverting level shifting circuit. Similarly, we are having inverting uh, under the type of uh, network we are going to use, there is inverting type. So in the inverting type, we are going to use the Smith trigger structure. Oh, this is the form of split digital structure, which is uses uh, 71 pull down resistors at this point. Okay, so that is I'm going to use now here. That is 
um, this circuit. This circuit uses um, split trigger circuit and uses the pull down register. So here it provides the negative going logic uh, threshold voltage of four, negative going logic threshold voltage of one volt, and positive going logic level of approximately four volts when we are using the five volt supply. Okay, by using this production network, that is the uh, um, double shifting cycles we are going to use. Yeah, this is the uh, input and input pad with the metric gas circuit. Okay, we are going to represent this input pad will be like this. Okay, this is the symbol of the input pad we are using the resistance circuit in this case. Right, so that is about the input circuit. Next, we can go for the um, output circuits and also L noise. That is, uh, we are going to consider the ability noise in the next class. Okay. Okay, nice one.